Welcome everyone to my official snowfall forecast for the winter of 2023 to 2024. Snowfall is something that affects a lot of people across the United States every winter, but as we all know, every single year is different. There's a lot of factors that goes into how much snow you see every winter, and one of the biggest players is the El Nino Southern Oscillation. Last winter, we had a La Nina in place, which influenced snowfall patterns. But this year, we have a strengthening El Nino. So how exactly will the strengthening El Nino play into your snowfall amounts this winter? That's exactly what we're going to talk about in this video, so let's begin. This is a very high resolution map, so we're going to break it down into sections. In the south central and southeast US, areas like Florida and the deep south average no snowfall. In this very light blue, as little as 1 inch and as much as 6 inches is your average snowfall every winter. In the slightly darker blue shade from the Texas Panhandle to southeast Virginia, 6 to 12 inches is the average. Once you start getting into that light yellow, 36 to 48 inches is the average. 48 to 60 inches is the average in the light orange shade, with 60 to 72 inches in the darker orange. The red shade can expect 72 to 84 inches, with 84 to 96 inches in the slightly darker red. 96 to 108 inches is the average for places in the darker red. Once you get into these purple shades in the eastern US, snowfall totals far exceed 100 inches and that's mostly due to lake effect snow. The lightest purple average is about 108 to 144 inches, with 144 to 192 in the slightly darker purple. Very isolated locations such as lake effect snow prone areas in New York State average about 192 to 300 inches of snowfall every winter. Any mountain ranges that are shaded in very dark purple into that very bright light blue have an average of about 360 to 480 inches of snowfall every winter. This is a very intricate map with very small details that we don't have time to point out, so feel free to pause the video if you want to take a closer look at your location. How will this compare to the 2023 to 2024 winter season, especially with a strong El Nino in place? One thing that directly plays into snowfall amounts is the amount of moisture in place. Strong El Ninos are known for bringing warmer weather and drier conditions to the northern United States, with wetter and cooler weather in the south, which is basically what the Climate Prediction Center is forecasting for this winter, as you can see on these maps. The active storm track moving through the south will bring lots of storms and therefore moisture to the southern half of the country, which means that any areas that are cold enough will see snow. This guidance leads us to my personal snowfall forecast, which I have prepared. This isn't a forecast showing exact snow totals since that's impossible to forecast. If you live in the first shade of brown, I'm expecting less snowfall this winter. This will be due to drier conditions because of a less amplified storm track. These darker brown shades are where we will see an even more noticeable difference in snowfall amounts, which is over parts of the northwest and Great Lakes regions. These areas see much more snow than usual during La Nina years, but during an El Nino we see a significant deficit. It's also important to note that even if you are in a significant snowfall deficit zone, that doesn't mean you can't get big snowstorms, it just means that the overall snowfall amounts will likely be much less than what they typically are. So that goes for places like Chicago, Illinois, Detroit, Michigan, Columbus, Ohio, and many other cities. Areas highlighted in this light blue have a chance at seeing above normal snowfall totals. This extends from the west all the way into the southeast US and up the east coast. This will be due to a much more amplified storm track which could feature southern slider snowstorms and significant nor'easters. These areas which are in darker blue is where the strongest signal for above average snowfall is. This includes the Sierra Nevada mountains in California, the mountains in the four corner states, especially over New Mexico, and parts of the southern high plains from Colorado down into West Texas. Another separate region extends from North Georgia up into the North Carolina mountains all the way into the mid-Atlantic. Places like Charlotte, North Carolina, Boone, North Carolina, Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Maryland, and many other cities and towns have the greatest chance at seeing above average snowfall this winter due to much more precipitation and cooler air in place. I hope you enjoyed my snowfall forecast for 2023 to 2024. If you did enjoy this short video, consider subscribing since I post weather forecasts just like this on a regular basis. 
I'll also be posting my official winter forecast soon. If you have any questions about the expected snowfall in your area, feel free to leave a comment in the comments section and I'll respond within a few hours. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates.